Black Adam is coming to the DCEU and this is a character you're going to want to get to know because things are about to change for real. BD here, and if I'm more excited about Black Adam than you are, then you don't know enough about this character. Dwayne The Rock Johnson was cast in this role what feels like thousands of years ago, but he's finally about to suit up for production in early 2021. So let's dive into the history of DC's Breaker of Chains with where his story begins. Black Adam, real name Teth Adam, first appeared in the Marvel Family issue number one in December of 1945, and as much as I'd love to get a photo with Mr. Dwayne Johnson reading this book together like I did with Zachary Levi on Shazam, you're not going to find a copy of this book for less than $2,000 online. And if you by some miracle find it at a 9.8 grade, get ready for a second mortgage. That's going to run you more than $60,000. Unfortunately, a copy of such quality isn't even thought to be in existence at this point. I mentioned Shazam and that wasn't by accident. Originally, Johnson was supposed to play this part in the first Shazam movie, but instead we got a slight little tease of him as a holographic history lesson because Black Adam's history is so rich, he needs his own movie. So let's talk about it. Black Adam's origins go back to 1200 BC where he was a slave in Kandak, a country in the Sinai Peninsula. His entire family was killed by dictators except his nephew Amon. When it seemed Adam was also going to die, Amon helped them escape and ultimately they found themselves at the Rock of Eternity being granted the powers of Shazam. When these powers healed Adam, Amon wanted to create peace in their country using the powers, but Adam wanted to destroy the dictators, so he killed his own nephew to make sure nothing stood in his way of doing that. As the story goes, Black Adam freed Kondok and took on the seven deadly sins himself and ultimately turned against the Council of Eternity and killed all but Shazam. Dwayne Johnson wasn't kidding when at DC Fandom he said Black Adam is powerful. This character heals super fast, he can fly, he has enhanced intelligence, he has super speed and super strength, and he has the power of arcane lightning, meaning he can shoot lightning bolts from wherever and at whatever he wants to. One might say he's the most electrifying man in all of the DCEU. In the 21st century, especially in some of the stories set in the New 52 books for DC Comics, Black Adam is pitted against Dr. Thaddeus Savannah in a story very similar to the one told in the first Shazam movie. Eventually, Black Adam comes across Billy Batson as Shazam and is eager to try to get all of his powers. A fight ensues and we'll have to save the outcome for however the DCEU goes about it with the movies. But there are more showdowns to look forward to other than Black Adam and Shazam. The Rock himself teased one of the more iconic showdowns from DC Comics history during Black Adam's DC fandom event in August with a little jab at Superman being tossed into the panel, saying, maybe they'll be friends, or maybe they won't. Something about this tells me we might be headed to a Superman Shazam The Return of Black Adam comic book story being told in the movies, which sounds epic, and I couldn't be more okay with that. If you're wondering, Black Adam's magic abilities, they actually give him an upper hand over Superman, so Dwayne Johnson might be laying the smacketh down on Henry Cavill. What questions do you have about Black Adam? Do you want to see him cross paths with any specific characters in the DCEU? Share your thoughts in the comments section or send them my way on Instagram at Brandon Davis BD. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please be sure to like this video. You made it this far, it must have been pretty decent at least. And subscribe for more. I'm BD, I'll see you there.